Hi, my name is Fred Newman. I'm the owner of the View Camera Store and Fred Newman Photography. And today I'd like to talk about the Arca Swiss Metric 4x5 with Micrometric Orbix. You see there's a little knob here. You want to loosen this so we can get the rail all straightened out. You can see the rail folds right here. So we want to just pull this out. This catches. See the little button here? This catches in the groove here. Then this goes back here. Push it in so it's all together. And then just lock it up. Now it's all solid. We're going to put it on the rail here. You'll notice two things here on this Arca tripod head. It's got an inner groove for the smaller rail like this, so you don't need to use this. And if you have a regular Arca um, adapter on your head, you use this rail. But for this one, I'm just going to use this. Just going to put this in here. Make sure it's out all the way. Okay, lock it down. And you could slide this back and forth to center depending on how much bellows you're using. Okay, now it's locked in. Let me turn it around. The outer knob is for focusing. Make sure you can see it better. This is for focusing. This is for locking the focus down. So the first thing I'm going to do is loosen this knob, focus it back here. And before I forget, one thing you could see here, one of the advantages of, of a camera like this is the back rail moves towards the front, which is very convenient for wide angle lenses. I like that design better than the one with the front stand that goes back and the, and the rear stand goes back and they meet in the middle. This way you don't have to worry about a rail sticking into your wide angle lens. So let's rack this out. With this camera, this is the bellows you have. If you need more bellows, there's an extension rail that'll work with this bellows so you don't have to change the bellows. Um, and I'll do that in another video. And this bellows, as you can see, it's called the universal bellows. It's nice and soft, so it works great with wide angle lenses. Let's look at all the controls now. We'll start at the back. You've got your, let's look at everything. We've got a bubble level here. And we've got the bubble level here. Okay, so you got for both. This is for your shift, and it's a geared shift because it's the metric. And you can see there's a little tiny line here, lines it up. So you've got, you can move it three centimeters in either direction. So it's very convenient, very precise, rather than sliding when you're adjusting your composition. I'll set it back to the middle here. Okay. And on this side right here. The gray knob is for when you want to do rear tilt, and it locks in place. This knob here, you loosen it up for your swing, and it locks in at the zero. And then on this side here, you've got your rise and fall, and it's very convenient. Again, let me take the, uh, wait a second, lock this down. Let me just take the ground glass protector off. But all these geared controls make it very convenient to precisely adjust your composition. So when you're working, you can just move it just a little bit or a little bit this way if you like. It makes it very easy to get it exactly as you want it. Now let's go to the front. And again, it's very similar. You've got the bubble level here and the bubble level here. You've got a little groove where the lens board fits in right over here. And watch this when I set it up. I put this in place. This snaps when this, let me lock this down. Okay, when this gets in place here, it's locked in. Okay, now we're better. And when you want to take it off, okay, now we're set. So this here in the front, which is kind of different than most cameras, you've got geared tilt in the front. And I'll, I could send you, if anyone wants information about it, a little PDF on how this works. So you've got your, this is called micrometric orbix. It's basically base tilt. And this is your adjustment right here. And it locks, you can feel it lock in place at different degrees even. Okay, that's set. Again, in the front, you've got 
your shift, just like before. You've got your, if you want to do face tilt, I don't know why you'd want to do both, but that's where the camera comes. And then you've got your swing over here. Okay, so that's the controls there. Let me reset it up here. Also, you've got, it's a little hard to see, but you've got your centimeter and millimeter, centimeter or millimeter scale for scale focusing. I'd recommend Why? scale focusing video so you can work with it. It's one of the convenient features of the Arca, having a scale focusing. And again, in the back here, this is for when you want to change your ground glass to be horizontal to vertical. You loosen this up and you want to get the little, this in the groove right here. And it snaps right in. Let's put the ground glass protector back. You pull this up, little pin catches so it's locked in. And again, it's very convenient for wide angle lenses. So I don't want to take it off. Just rack it all the way front. And this is the halfway here. Lock this down. Lock this down. Then when I want to take it off, just grab this, loosen it up. And I want to fold it up for traveling. I just loosen this, pull this out. And again, you see the little groove where it fits in. Locks in place. This makes for a very nice small package for traveling. It's nice and thin. Fits in your backpack very conveniently. If you have any questions about the camera, please email me. Thank you for watching.